You've got a tune to listener-powered KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online round the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I'm so happy to have Perfume Genius live in our studios once again. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hello. It's so wonderful to have you here, and since you have your uh, effects on your mic there, you want to just start us off with a song? Yeah. Give me that note, Alan. Don't you know you're queen? Absolutely fabulous. Perfume Genius live in studio here at KEXP. That sounds wonderful. Oh, thanks. It's so great to have you here today. And this is actually the day of the release of your new album. This is it. This is today. Too Bright. We're so happy to celebrate that with you. Again, it's called Too Bright. I've been such a big fan. I'm sure you can tell. I'm so <laughs> excited to have you here of all of your albums. Thank and you very much. This one was uh, an interesting surprise. You went a little bit in a different direction. Mm -hmm. It Just like your first two albums, there's a lot of beauty and tenderness, both musically and lyrically. But you've got a lot of textures on this yeah. new album, a lot of crunchiness going on. 
there's power in all of your records, but it kind of takes a different Mm -hmm. kind of a tone here. Can you tell me what you were thinking when you were, or the process of getting to this new record? Um, I guess the first two albums were very personal and almost like a um, storytelling, you know what I mean? Like I was talking about very specific things that happened in the past. Um, And even though some of those experiences were dark or strange, I wanted the music underneath to be very warm and and sweet a lot of the times. But this album is less, um, it's more immediate and it's more about how I'm feeling now. Um, And also I wanted the music to, you know, when I'm being nasty or saying something dark, I wanted the music to be as dark and nasty and immediate as what I'm saying. Um, And that required me experimenting and stuff too. So I kind of let loose all around. So it kind of made a more experimental, darker sound to a lot of the songs on the new album. You made your first record at home. I know you went into the studio for your last one. I don't yeah. know how adept you are with uh, studio mechanics. Could w- Did you know how to make the sounds that you heard and wanted to portray in the oh, studio? No. no, no. I mean, I made fully fleshed out demos for all of my new songs, you know, but they're kind of like the diet version of what ended up on the album. Like, I'm not the most technically capable musician, but I know where I want things to go. But the producers I worked with, they knew like from my like emotional descriptive words, what machine to go to, you know, to get that, you know, I would say I want something filthy and like, I want to be able to feel it. And I would point to like my chest or something and he would know what knob to twiddle or what exact what machine to go to and stuff like that. So just technically I needed help taking the songs in direction and as far as I wanted them to go. And did you get, what you wanted or what you saw at first or did it change along the process of working with other people? I was kind of half and half. Half was exactly, you know, hit the spot for me right away. And then half the times there would be like unexpected occurrences or like, you know, someone would play a part that wasn't what I had originally intended in my head, but was perfect for the song. And even if I had to kind of change my intent with it a little bit, like on Queen, originally I wanted like a very tribal, very cold drum beat. But John, who played drums on it, played this kind of stonery, um, kind of even slower and sloppier beat to it. And so I, based on his drums, I kind of redid the song and redid my vocals to kind of match that feeling. So even though I wasn't intending the song to have that kind of anthemic rocker feel to it, I sort of, um, it fit perfectly. So, Are you ready to do another song? Yeah, I am. Every break you see a picture of me Where 
Perfume Genius live on KEXP. I want to talk about the visual elements of your music for a second. Okay. You have always had such arresting visual elements, both on the album covers, any press images you have, and especially in the videos. And I am absolutely in love with the two videos I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many you've done, but uh, Grid and Queen. Yeah. And the images in Queen are so striking and surreal. I'm and very reflective of the stories that you're telling well, in your songs. Can you tell me a little bit about that wonderful video? Queen? Yes. Um Well, we recorded it in Kansas City in Missouri. Is it Missouri? <laughs> Actually I think there's two Kansas cities. Well, we'll one see. in Missouri and it's one in one Kansas. Of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we did it over five days, and I'm really glad we did it there because if we did it here in another big city, we would have maybe only been able to include one of our like million ambitious, crazy ideas that we had. Um, but me and the director kind of back and forth sent... Um, well, my original idea was I wanted the boardroom scene where I kind of stalk in heels and the boardroom is sort of harass and defiantly, um, you know, bother some white CEO dudes. Um, and I wanted to do that for four minutes. But, um, but you know. <laughs> there were other stories <laughs> there to were tell. other stories to tell. <laughs> like little baby pigs little running piglets. around. Little piglets, yeah, we got to do everything. We had everything in there. And it's hard also not to just throw in some fun ideas like, you know, that when you're a kid that you always wanted to do if you ever made a music video. So it's deadly serious, you know, and I'm very impassioned about it, but still there's some lightness and fun to it as well. That's intense to hear that you m t did it over a period of five days. Oh, it was an intense schedule, too. There's lots of, um, like, 5 p.m. till noon the next day. We shot a scene in a, um, a public restroom of a movie theater at, like, 4 in the morning, and there were just I was sleeping next to, like, the popcorn machine, you know, and stuff like that. It was just as crazy as, um, the making of it was just as crazy as the actual video itself. So. <laughs> and for Grid, it's just one sort of set, but also very powerful. Mm -hmm. And Tell me a, a little bit about that video, and I recommend people watch these videos immediately. <laughs> well, I had that, vi even like while I was writing the song and right after, I had that visual idea of like dancers sort of pulsating um, kind of menacingly around me. Um, and I wanted it to be... Uh, Filthy and weird. I want to. I kind of wanted to be like Labyrinth and David Bowie when he said has these goblins around, but he's very dismissive and um, you know like over it, even though he just has like a horde of goblins. I wanted to have a little bit of that feel, a touch of that. Um, You've got some great dance moves, and you're doing that so much in concert now more than when you just sat at the piano yeah. and played. Is that? Um, is that, is that something that you enjoy? It's I'm, I'm not sure I enjoy it, and I'm not sure that I even have any idea what I'm doing while I'm performing. Like, I've been locked behind the piano for a long time, and I didn't really have to think about it. Um, but now that, like, I'm aware that I kind of have to communicate with my body a little bit, it's actually fairly strange to me. Um, so I'm trying not to overthink it. But then I will watch videos back, and, you know, I will either think that I'm, like, really into it, and like really moving around, then I'll see that I'm being very still. Or I think that I like, I don't know, I just, I look a little unstable, but I suppose that's um, accurate, so. Whatever you're doing, it's working. I absolutely yeah. love it. Uh, we'd love to hear some more music. We've got Perfume okay. Genius live in studio here at KEXP, and still a couple more songs. Yeah. All along, right? Or Hood? Okay. If you knew me true Oh, but I waited so long For your love I am scared, baby That I can't keep it up for long Oh, I 
wish I grew up the second I first held you in my arms Lovely, so lovely. Perfume Genius live on KEXP. Mm. Can you do one more? Yeah. Stand up for this one. How's it been performing these new songs live? It's good. It's been only a handful of times still. It's, but this song will be the first we performed it in any kind of like official capacity. Ooh, how exciting. So, we'll see. <laughs> What drives me to my man Earthly or divine Or otherwise Is no business of mine You waste it my time You wasted my time Deep down I never did feel right even now Sometimes That feeling's a lie You wasted my time You wasted my time
Ah, stunning. Thanks. Perfume Genius live on KEXP. Alan, you have such a beautiful voice. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, thank you so much You're always for making much time. For having us again. We love the new album, Too Bright, out today. Mm -hmm. And you'll be back in Seattle playing at the Neptune on October 25th. That's right, yeah. And then what's ahead for you? A lot of touring? Oh, yeah, the big old official tour. Is that exciting? Yeah, so we'll be gone for about a month, yeah. Well, enjoy. Yeah, I'm very excited, especially with this new music to play. So. And do you have, uh, I'm thinking of the videos <laughs> that I'm loving so much. Do you have costumes and things that you'll wear on stage oh, where you'll I don't, be dancing not, around? I've really perfected a way to smoothly do like a outfit change <laughs> in the middle of the set. But I've been wearing like this jumpsuit. Kind of looks like a lady's tuxedo a little bit. I'm thinking about getting some heels too. I want some kind of business lady but like high-powered businesswoman heels. Oh, I hope so. So we'll see. Well, I can't wait till the show with up. the Neptune. Thank you. Thank you again so much, all of you, for coming in. It sounds wonderful. It's Perfume Genius Live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.